How a man can survive underwater for three days? Is it possible? Yes. On the 26th of May 2013, Harrison or Jake Boken made a history. Harrison was the lone survivor of a boat sinking at sea. On the 26th of May 5 a.m., the Jescon Fortad boat was swallowed by a huge wave. Because of the ongoing privacy problem, the tugboat was under security protocol. The 12-man crew locked themselves in their rooms. Unfortunately, Harrison had gotten up to use the bathroom. Harrison was unable to follow his colleagues to the emergency hatch. Water pushed Harrison into another bathroom which is adjoined as officer's cabin. He was able to hold his head above the water. The boat sank nearly 100 feet and took upside down in rest position. There were an immediate rescue and the diving crew located the boat. Divers were not prepared for deep diving so they could only stay for a shorter period of time. The rescue was called off due to no evidence of survivors. Harrison went to another air cavity about four feet high. He found some tools and there he made a platform using wall paneling and with mattresses. This helped Harrison to stay afloat and lifted the upper half of his body out of water. Meanwhile, a dive support vessel arrived at the area of the sinking. Dive team consisted of three members with one supervising them connected via microphones and camera at the supporting vessel. The team spent over an hour. When one of the divers was in a small passageway something suddenly touched him. What's that? Oh, okay. Mm. All right, you found one, yeah? He's alive, he's alive. Okay, keep him there, keep him there. All right, just, just, all right. All right, just hold him there, okay? Just keep him there. Okay? Just keep him there. Fucking hell. I don't know what we're gonna do. Alright, right, just, just keep, keep him there and keep him calm, okay? okay? <laughs> Alright, All right, just, just, um, just just reassure, reassure him, pat him on the shoulder. The divers were amazed to find Harrison alive. Okay. The divers used hot water to warm him up and fitted him with an oxygen mask. With the help of a diving bell, Harrison was able to reach the surface. The divers found one survivor and ten of the bodies. The search for the 11th crew member was called off due to dangerous conditions. The science behind survival. A human inhales around 350 cubic feet of air every 24 hours. However, because the boat was under pressure Harrison's zip pocket had been compressed by a factor of 4. That is around 216 cubic feet. It was enough oxygen to keep him alive. Another danger that came up is carbon dioxide. When Harrison exhales, amount of CO2 increases. However, CO2 is absorbed by water. The absorption rate was increased by splashing the water. The rescue team took three days to bring Harrison back to his life. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell.